guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Back Aquarius. Mwah! To all my returning subscribers, you know I love you. To all of our new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Mwah, mwah. We love you too. If you're still thinking about it, we don't know what you're waiting on. Go ahead, smash that subscribe button. Make sure that you're going back into your settings. Click on the notification bell so that you can actually get the actual notifications that you're asking for. Okay. So make sure if you are just joining, go ahead and make sure that you are clicking on the settings so that the notification is indeed turned on. YouTube had turned that thing off. I'm telling y'all. Alright, let's go. Guys, Angel Aquarius on show me what messages do you have for my wonderful Aquariuses? Let's get your messages from Spirit Aquarius. I hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Additional messages, Spirit. Thank you so much. Oh, share, share, share. You got one on the flow, Aquarius. What is what is it, baby? It is a happy surprise, Aquarius. Something very good is about to happen, Aquarius. There's some type of surprise that Spirit says that they're going to be bringing to you. Okay, it's going to make you quite happy. That was the card that fell on the floor. They want you to, what some of y'all could have been wishing upon a star, or maybe you're needing to make a wish and expect the very best, Aquarius. You also have believe in yourself, Aquarius, okay? Spirit is saying that you see, you need to see yourself doing well, and you absolutely will. You also have water. So some of you guys, you need to drink more water. As a matter of fact, I am today as well. Drink more water. They want y'all to eat more foods with water in it, Aquarius, such as, you know, your fruits and your vegetables. That's about my third bottle of water, okay? Drink more water. You also have family culture. So some of you guys could be wanting to learn more about your culture. Or learn more about your family stories or the history. Um, you know, um, Spirit is saying if you still have older individuals that are still living, you need to take time to visit these people so that you can get knowledge on what you've been asking or wanting to inquire about. It's going to be somebody that's older that's going to be able to give you the information that somebody or some of you guys are searching for. Okay. Let's get your second set of messages from Spirit Aquarius. Guys, angels, ancestors, what messages do you have for the wonderful Aqua Aquarius? Messages for Aquarius, please. Messages for Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius. Let me see, Aqua Babies. What additional messages do you have for the Aquarius spirit? Thank you. Yes. All right. So, Aquarius, insight is out here. And I was just talking to you all about that. If you need an insight on something, um, you need to seek it from an older family member. Okay, so this insight is coming in. The information is there. You just need to seek it, Aquarius. You also have capacity to love. Aquarius, make sure that you are remaining open, okay? Make sure that there is space open within your heart to love, Aquarius, because you also have openness here. Make sure that you are open to love, okay? are open to wonderful gestures that are coming towards you, Aquarius, because you also have achievement. So there's something or some of you are trying to achieve something, and love is what's going to bring it through. You understand what I'm saying, Aquarius? Some of y'all could be born on the fourth, some on the second, some on the third, some on the sixth. Some of y'all could be 26, 42, 18, um, or 34. But there is something that you're trying to achieve, Aquarius, 
And it's going to take some insight, but also the capacity of love is what's going to bring this blessing through. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's the T, Aquarius. What is the T spirit? What's the T surrounding my Aquarius? What's the T, Aquarius? Aquarius. What's the T? What's the T, Aquarius? What's the T? Thank you for your guidance, your wisdom, your structure. Thank you for your support. One second, guys. That's the customer. Oh, sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I thought I had y'all paused, but I didn't. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and see what's the T. The customer had to run to their car real quick, so let's see. What's the T spirit? I'm going to pull y'all cards talking shit. Oh, God. You also have played out just a second. Curious. Let's get back into this thing. Let's get back into y'all's reading, okay? All right, let's see. Let's see. We got talking shit and played out so far. Ooh. <laughs> Love on the brain. Running. What are those new messages you have for Aquarius? Okay. Poor sir. Aquarius, somebody you running from about to start forcing themselves on you or forcing their way into your life. Um, okay. You've been moving in silence and people know that Aquarius, but there's somebody that feels like <laughs> you know how you stop messing with somebody, you're no longer tied to this person your life Aquarius is what I'm getting you've moved on past this person but this person still has something for you okay this person still has an eye for you okay or this person thinks that they should still have a space in your heart somewhere Aquarius is what I'm getting so somebody's coming back in here trying to force something on you force the issue or push the issue with you this is somebody that you've been running away from um it don't have to be that you've been physically running for away but i get a sense what spirit is showing me is that you you avoid this person you you avoid them or you at least try to um you try not to go places that they know they're going to be you try to not be in this person's presence now love on the bringing so of course, this is somebody that still has still a nostalgic energy um, surrounding you. This person could be daydreaming about you, Aquarius. It's just something about this person or something about their ways have been it's played out with you. OK, it's played out with you. Um, one second. <clears throat> OK, Aquarius. So, yeah, I get a sense that. This person, um, there could have been a lot of talks around a situation or a connection that didn't last. At least one that you thought, uh, or this person thought that would last Aquarius. Okay, I get a sense that you've had uh, people talking about what may have happened in this connection or who may have done what. You understand? All right, so let's see what's going on. Guys, angels, ancestors, or shit. What messages do you have for the Aquarius? What messages do you have for, for the Aquarius? Thank you for your guidance, your discernment. Thank you for the wisdom. What messages do you have for our Aquariuses? What does Aquarius need to know concerning this situation? Thank you for all your continuous positive energy in and around both me and my viewers. Thank you for protecting us on a daily basis. Messages for Aquarius concerning the situation spirit. What information can you provide? Messages for Aquarius.
messages for Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius. If you all see somebody on the... Oh, I don't think, because I don't think it's facing that way. They're working outside the windows here. All right. Let's see. So, Aquarius, this is definitely um, somebody that stay. This person is stagnant. This could have been somebody that was trying to hoard your energy. I'm hearing something about hoarding your energy, Aquarius. Okay. This person could have also been somebody that was too materialistic for you about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Aquarius, you've definitely released this person. This is something you ain't holding on to. You ain't even holding on no grudges toward this, this person, Aquarius. You have moved forward. Okay. Um, you have moved forward. You got the sun out here. Let me get the rest of the messages and then we'll get into it. What additional messages? Mm -hmm. The Ten of Cups. I'm telling you, you have released yourself from whatever this person, the negative Nancy ass or whatever. I'm telling you, you have the, <laughs> the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. It's something you ain't holding on to no more. With the sun, the ten of cups, and the nine of fucking pentacles occurs. Additional messages, please. Spirit from my Aquarius concerning this issue. I'm telling you, and landing out here <laughs> as the fucking awful you shit. Bottom of the dick. This person trying to come back in, Aquarius. This person trying to force something on you. Be mindful of letting people force stuff. Let's get into it. Let's get on <clears throat> the clarifiers. Let's get us a clarifying dick. Make sure they're not upside down. Guys, angels, ancestors, I'm sure. What messages do you have for my Aquarius? Messages for Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius. Clarify the cards for us, please. Clarification. Messages for Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius. Aquarius. So, what's this um, talking shit with the four? Of pentacles in the reverse. I'm telling you, Aquarius, you release somebody. You got the fucking ten of cups here again. You release somebody that you couldn't manifest with Aquarius is what I'm getting. Because Aquarius, the minute you release this thing or this person, these people, you started developing a happiness within yourself. You understand? You got the Ten of Cups here clarifying that, and you got the Ten of Cups here, baby. It's something about aligning yourself with the support, the fulfillment, the emotional stability that you needed that brought you through something Aquarius, okay? This is somebody that was pouring energy from you. Tell me more. Tell me more. This was somebody, I'm telling you, that was hoarding energy from you. You got the Six of Cups here as well. So this person still has nostalgia. But there's definitely something toxic or was toxic about this person, Aquarius. They could have been very childish as well. Um, this person feels like you're somebody that they're familiar with, Aquarius. Okay, um, I'm getting a sense that somebody wants some type of reunion with you. Okay. But I don't get you giving that. Um, this person could have been somebody that had toxic energies. Um, somebody that was actually obsessed or somebody that's still obsessed with you, Aquarius. 
Um, this person could have been somebody that was abusive or at least be allowing their shadow side to lead. Again, with the devil at the bottom of the deck, this is definitely somebody that um, was envious or they could have even had sexual lust. They could, have, they could be lusting after you now sexually. But definitely something materialistic around this person. Something about this person, Aquarius, um, you found that it played out or, or it was played out is what Spirit is telling me, okay? Um, with the sun here showing up, I, I'm getting a sense, Aquarius, that there was um, some positivity that came in. Um, you got clarity on something or an issue surrounding this individual or these people, and that awoke you, Aquarius. You understand? What's this played out with the sun? This is why you ain't messing with this person. I'm telling you, you draw burdens. Um, this is the Ten of Wands here. So whatever was played out, Aquarius, to you, it had too many burdens attached to it. Okay, it, it made you feel like you were taking on an extra responsibility that you didn't need. Okay, um, you could have been stressed out with this person or this person could have been stressing you. I'm telling you, the Empress and the King of Pentacles right here up underneath the sun. Like I said, whatever you dropped Aquarius, whatever you moved away from, whatever had you feeling as if you were burnt out, um, you felt that it was a struggle. So a relationship that you could have been in, you feel that was played out. It was time for you to walk away. And I believe, Aquarius, that's how you became the empress. Okay, there's a king of pinnacles here too. So there could be somebody that you're already involved with that's probably most likely a practical leader just like you. Um, this person um, could be a business fight individual, but they're a security provider, Aquarius, like you. With the Empress here, the care and the nurturing side that you have to you right now, this energy that's bouncing off on to other people from you, Aquarius, Mother Earth only wants you to continue to illuminate with people that's going to be working with you. And I see that as this King of Pentacles, as somebody that is well versed in what they need to do to be able to be reliable, to be in the abundance aspect. Um, this is somebody that's going to be very sensual when it comes down to you, Aquarius. Um, this person knows that prosperity is a bit. Just a second. Sorry, just a second. Um, but this person knows that prosperity is something, abundance is something that you actually have within yourself, Aquarius. But this person not, also knows that they need to pour into their self or pour into the relationship in order for you guys to evolve. Aquarius, I get a sense that a new relationship or a new somebody, a new individual or a new set of people are coming towards you. And you're, you, you both or you, the group has a leadership skills. You people, um, the people that are coming towards you are also determined just like you, Aquarius. Very prosperous, okay? Whereas whoever this was that you feel that was played out was draining. Um, the, the, it seems like it was just draining. It was something draining about them, okay? This person... Um, made you go into some type of solitude to gather your thoughts. I get a sense that you gathered your thoughts around somebody and you retreated, okay? I get a sense that a lot of you guys went in to self-protect yourself, okay? You wanted to protect your peace, protect your energy. Well, Aquarius, that could have been the best thing that you did because like I said, you got the sun. After the sun, you now got the ten of cups, which means with this nine of pentacles, you actually opened yourself up where it needed to be open, Aquarius. You got some type of insight and you got to business because down here is the queen of swords you coming out as yourself baby what's this um uh, what's this level in the brain with the ten of cups so somebody's still dreaming about you somebody's still fantasizing about you aquarius or what, what, what they're still fantasizing about a relationship they want with you okay um this person knows that you you're now attached to new beginnings aquarius you got the fool here tell me more this person is still is still <laughs> wanting to try with you, Aquarius, but you're you're not involved in yourself. Yeah, you definitely not. So this person is somebody 
um, Aquarius that I get a sense that some of y'all say probably said to yourself damn they must like being stuck you know this person was somebody that was anti-social with people that you try to bring into your sector meaning these could even just be people where you were trying to go towards your tribe this person was trying to reject certain individuals from being in and around you Aquarius okay they wanted um, that you wanted you to themselves it seems like somebody wanted you into some type of isolation so that they could material well not materially but what word I'm looking for, spirit? Somebody wanted you in isolation so they could fuck your mind, Aquarius. Meaning they they wanted they wanted to have some type of narcissistic hold over your mind. Okay, this person was this person that who you see is played out was somebody that was used to repeating past mistakes and getting away with shit with people. But I feel like Aquarius with you, they weren't able to do that. You didn't allow them to manipulate you. That's the word they was looking for. They brought it. Tell me more about this love. I want to bring with this Ten of Cups, the Fool, and the Hermit in the Reverse. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you also got that in reverse now, which is the Knight of Cups, Aquarius. So this is somebody that was moody. Um, somebody that doesn't avoid conflict. You understand? Somebody that brings and likes to bring disappointments, Aquarius. This person is very jealous and they're unrealistic about a lot of shit, okay? Um, like I said, somebody didn't want you to be celebrated, Aquarius. Somebody didn't want your friendships that you now have, Aquarius. They didn't want you collaborating with other people, Aquarius. They didn't want um, anything around you where you were going to get some type of shared joy is like somebody was trying to break in and take your happiness away from your Aquarius. Okay. Um, that's what I'm getting to be honest. What's this running with the, um, wow. What's this running with the nine of pentacles? Cause like Aquarius, I'm telling you, you got, you found some self, you, you're comfortable with where you were when you, when you, a lot of you guys are in a comfortable space, a comfortable sector. So it seems like as soon as you release this person that is played out when it comes down to you, you got into gear. You started taking action. Your success started picking up. It seems like a lot of things started moving forward for you guys because you took control of your own wheel, Aquarius. You didn't allow this person to continuously try to mind fuck you. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, you kept on. You held on to that willpower, Aquarius. Tell me more. What's this running with the chariot and the nine of pentacles? Yeah, see that? I'm telling you, somebody is manipulative. You got the magician now in the reverse. This person is unfulfilled. They don't have potential. Even the potential is unfulfilled. This is somebody with scattered energy, Aquarius. And this person loves to waste resources. You understand? Because it's, it's not the shit they're wasting. Okay. This person is was somebody that was very deceptive, okay? But they were very, this person was living in an illusion world, and this person was out of touch with themselves, Aquarius. I mean, who the hell? <laughs> this person has bad, had bad intentions, Aquarius, and I think y'all picked up on this person having bad intentions. I really do. What's this for, sir, with the Queen of Swords? So Aquarius, somebody, you're going to have to stick up for yourself towards somebody. And you're going to do it because you got the Queen of Swords here. What's the force with this Queen of Swords? Yeah, you are. You got the Knight of Pentacles. Aquarius, I'm telling you right now, you're going to be stoic when it comes down to your motherfucking um, peace. And you're going to let them know. I get a sense that you are, you are grounded. You're going to stand your ground. Understand? You're very efficient at keeping a motherfucker out your face if that's what you want to do. Um, your wit, your wits is going to get to this person because your mental agility is too high for them. Um, Aquarius is y'all are people that have a thirst for knowledge. Okay, you inspire. You cannot. You're not going to allow somebody that's uninspired to try to manipulate your motherfucking mind, Aquarius. I see with the Queen of 
Swords here, you're going to be very objective. I see you communicating with this person. I see your intelligence making them angry as hell, Aquarius. You understand? Because they thought that they could come back in with ease, but no, they're not. Um, I feel like somebody wants you to still see if you're still devoted to them, Aquarius, and you're not. Um, you've been moving in silence, and since you've been doing that, you've been winning, Aquarius. I'm telling you. The, the pearly gates, things have opened up for you a lot, and it's because you've been keeping your mouth shut about a lot of things. You understand? People have been trying to creep. They've been trying to creep, and they're trying to peep around the corner, see what you got going on, what action what you got going on. But Aquarius, y'all ain't crazy about nobody. Y'all know people ain't shit. Y'all know that some of these people don't mean y'all no good. They ain't shit. A lot of these people, Aquarius, um, in situations where they can't even fuck with you at the level that you are. I mean, that's this business. And a lot of people are mad because you're ignoring them, Aquarius. You're not allowing these people to ride your wave is what I'm getting. A lot of you guys could have moved. You could have moved since you last was talking to this person, Aquarius. You could have relocated um, as well. Um, and this could also be in the same city. But Aquarius, this person is somebody that you can't trust. They're like a rash. They, they, they go and they come back. They go and they come back like a fucking rash, okay? This person has been still drama, starting drama in their own life, Aquarius, okay? Um, this person is definitely somebody that's watching you very hard. I'm going to give them stalkish energy is what I'm picking up, Aquarius. Somebody um, is very intimidated by you, but this person knows that they can't threaten you, Aquarius, because you're not bothered by them. Okay, this could have been somebody that you helped a lot, Aquarius. You could have even been giving people, giving people your money, your finances, Aquarius, not only your time. But one thing about you, Aquarius, you keep a motherfucker in their head. You stay in people's head and you keep them in their head. You know, um, this person has been stressing, overanalyzing, overthinking things, okay, Aquarius? And this person knows that you're going to end up marrying somebody and they know that you're going to end up mar marrying somebody with money. I'm telling you, somebody that's still hooked on you, Aquarius, and, and, and living this groupy life, they're still hooked and living this groupy life. You can't even make this shit up. See, Aquarius, the thing is, the, the, the thing is, Aquarius, your creativity has blessed you. Let me tell you one thing about y'all, Aquarius, you know, your growth, you've been allowing patience and gratitude to work in your favor. And this is why things are turning out the way that they are for you. This is why the blessings have been overflowing, Aquarius, because you love being comfortable. You're a down-to-earth individual. And that's why material wealth comes to you so easily. You're not chasing it, Aquarius. You're attracting it, okay? And you understand that. This person is somebody that is going to be returning, but it's going to be conflict in and around the situation, Aquarius, okay? This is somebody that you do no, no longer want to deal with. They're played out when it comes down to you, but this person wants to come back and try to cause get some collaboration going. They're hoping for a celebration. They're hoping for some type of breakthrough, Aquarius. This is somebody that sleeps around as well. They, they got that in and out energy. You understand? A clear spirit is saying you being led to something bigger. You're being led to something bigger. You're being led to something bigger. A better relationship, a better job. You're being led to something bigger, something that's actually for your Aquarius. Spirit says you've worked too hard. You've worked too hard to stop now, Aquarius. You've worked too hard to allow people to come in and force anything on you. And somebody's going to do it. Aquarius, don't, because these people are looking to break hearts again. They're looking to break hearts again. They're looking for trouble, Aquarius. Don't allow it. You need to keep things moving. You need to continue on the path that you're already being guided to go down. Once you walked away from this person, Aquarius, you stood up for yourself. You stood up for yourself by walking away, Aquarius. Don't let these old things, these old navigations, these old folks come back and ruin what you got, Aquarius, because spirit already has the best coming towards you. There is definitely new beginnings. There's passion coming between your life. There's nothing you need to worry about. Aquarius, I'm hearing that you need to stay devoted to yourself. 
you need to stay emotionally mature and balanced because you're intuitive. You're picking up more and more intuitively. I'm telling you right now with this nine of wands, somebody know that there's a lot of resilience in you. But Aquarius, y'all carry y'all faith. It seems like the final push that you needed to give yourself, you did Aquarius. Okay. You guys are very close to the success that you want. And right now, there's going to be a lot of testing your faith. You understand, Aquarius? Testing your faith. You got the Nine of Pentacles twice. You got it in two decks again. Your life is going to be abundant. You will live in luxury. Your self-worth will be shown. Your financial independence will blossom. You are supposed to be somebody that has a lot of leisure around you. Work when you want to work, move when you want to move, okay? And your rewarded efforts are coming in because of the achievements that you have, Aquarius. A lot of these people are attached to y'all, but they got toxic energy as they obsess. You understand what I'm saying? These people want recuperation, but you're retreating. You need to continue to retreat. Their judgments have been cloudy this far, Aquarius. It's still going to be cloudy, okay? Okay? Those many options they thought that they have, they didn't have shit but illusions. You understand? And every opportunity that they wanted for themselves, they never got. It's because they were very... These people still searching for their purpose, Aquarius, when you've al you're already working in yours, okay? Don't let these people come back manipulating y'all with all this bullshit. The Five of Cups energy, they're staying in an Aquarius. They got, they love and they regret because they feel like there's a lot of failure around them because of all the disappointments that they caused others, you understand? So a lot of these people are really mourning you guys. Okay, they're mourning you guys, of course, because judgment came in your favor. I'm telling you, judgment came in your favor. The final decisions have been made. You've gotten the wake-up call, and once you got that wake-up call, you bounced. You move. Okay? Self-evaluation for you is something that your life purpose led you to. Continue to be nurturing to yourself. Continue to be kind, generous. Continue to be welcoming, Aquarius. Don't allow people to take your energy away from you. You understand what I'm saying? Stay in a good business sense, whether you're focusing on yourself or others, but people that care about you and people that you care about, Aquarius. Don't allow the devil to attach themselves to you any longer. The devil has no control. They have no control over you, of course. The devil don't have no control over you. Every result that you've been awaiting is coming. The progress is being made. Your expansions. Stay confident about who you are, Aquarius. Because you're growing. You're growing. You're getting through these milestones like no other. All right, Aquarius, do me a favor. Thumbs up the video. Cross watches, thumbs up the video as well, okay? Turn on your post notification bells. Do me a favor. Share, share, share this video. We're trying to get ourselves to 1,500 subscribers. I would appreciate if you guys will help me too. As a matter of fact, share on all of your platforms. I love you, booze. Thanks for watching.